My name is Harry Braun. I'm the senior scientist of the Phoenix Project Foundation, which is an organization that for many decades now has been focused on how to make a fundamental transition away from oil, coal, and other fossil and nuclear fuels to what we call a solar hydrogen economy with wartime speed. This is because the National Academy of Sciences have made very dire warnings to the Congress and to the American people that we are in the final stages of making our planet uninhabitable because of our continued addiction to oil, coal, and other fossil and nuclear fuels. They're not so much focused on the nuclear issue, although, as we will discuss in the future, that's as much of a concern as, as the fossil fuels in its own way. Our thrust is to phase out all of these very toxic and non-renewable energy resources with the only energy option that we know that can work, which is to make hydrogen fuel from water with electricity generated from the wind and other cost-effective solar technologies. This concept has been advanced uh, in terms of a hydrogen economy, solar hydrogen economy, for more than a hundred years. I, uh, for the past 30 years, I've been an advisory board member of an international engineering society that's in 45 countries. Many of the members are full professors of engineering and chemistry and other disciplines. In fact, you can't even make gasoline without having a lot of hydrogen. It's in everything. It's the most abundant element in the universe, and it is the holy grail of energy because it's where it all comes from. And once you have that in the equation of a solar hydrogen economy, you now have a system that is uh, completely inexhaustible, and it allows us to use every existing engine and power plant that we're now using. All we're going to do is change the fuel. It is not the internal combustion engine that is the problem and that needs to be replaced. It is what is powering the world today. What is the problem is the fuel, which is highly toxic and rapidly running out and benefits oil companies and coal companies, but nobody else. And if you factored in the environmental costs of using these fuels, they result in trillions of dollars of very nasty health care costs that are not factored into their economics at all. If we had a fair accounting system, making hydrogen from water would be what we had been, would be do, have been doing actually for the past hundred years at least. It was in the year 1800 that a surgeon and a chemist in the UK first split hydrogen from water with electricity. That was the year 1800. Seven years later, the very first automobile ever built in the world with an internal combustion engine was built in Switzerland and it was running on hydrogen made from water with electricity. Every existing engine can be modified to use hydrogen fuel and when you do that your engine will become a clean machine with zero carbon emissions. It will be a system that will provide prosperity without pollution as far into the future as we can realistically expect to see. So that is the answer. The problem and the reason we haven't been on it is because our government is run uh, by lobbyists. Uh, most people think our government is a democracy, but this is in fact not true. The United States has never been a democracy. And by the way, you don't need a law degree to understand the difference between a democracy and a republic. You merely need a dictionary. And a republic is what we are, as in republican form of government. What does that mean? Well, it means, for one thing, that bribery is the nature of the business. It's what makes everything happen in our government. Is how many, there are thousands of lobbyists. How many of them are working for you, is the question. And if you don't have an army of lobbyists, you don't count. You're not part of the equation. So who has more lobbyists than anyone? Well, the oil companies, the coal companies, the nuclear companies. 
etc., etc., etc. So we have that is the problem, and here is the solution. Fortunately, it's a remarkably simple solution that uses our own constitution to get us out of this mess. Article 5 of our constitution allows the citizens in our country to organize any time we choose, to hold constitutional conventions. We have to get our local legislatures to vote for this, of course, but if, you, if they even get 10 or 15 emails on most subjects, they're impressed. We'll make sure they get thousands, tens of thousands of emails to make sure we get this constitutional convention underway before the next presidential election. And here's why. Once we get this, amend, this constitutional convention underway online, that's the key here, the majority of citizens are going to address this amendment. It's a 26-word amendment that I have written that says we, the people, shall empower the majority of citizens to approve all legislation, all executive orders from the president, and anything the judicial branch does that impacts the majority. That is essentially it. It's a one-sentence amendment that will change everything because it will put the majority of citizens in charge of our federal government. And one of the first things that will happen is secrecy and bribery will be made illegal. Everything will change from then. And our Congress, instead of being run like the bribery business that it is now, is going to be run like the United States Navy. That's how we're going to do it. And we're going to put the people in charge in order to make that happen. That is what this presidential effort is all about. So, Because once you have the majority of the people in charge of the federal government, it really doesn't matter who you elect because that person will have no power to act until the majority of citizens say so. That is what we are focused on. And that's why I need to, you to review this the material in this website and what we are attempting to undertake and accomplish because we can't do it without your help. But we are in a hurry. And so the sooner we get this constitutional convention for democracy underway in this country, the sooner we will have a solar hydrogen economy that will create not only millions of real jobs every year, but trillions of dollars of new wealth every year, not for the oil companies, but for the American people. There is a lot at stake, and we need to move with wartime speed. Take a look at the rest of the website, and please help set up an organization for our campaign in your state so that we can make this happen as fast as possible.